Hello humans and fur babies and welcome back to my channel. So today's project we're going to be doing another garden item. So it's actually quite an overcast day, it's a very quiet day in Bali today so I'm going to be destroying that by making a ton of noise pretty soon. I'm going to be making a portable planter box so I can put herbs and vegetables and stuff in it. I have a little area of my garden that's perfect for a vegetable garden except the fact that it doesn't get enough sun. So I need to make a portable planter box so I can wheel it out into the sun when it's usually here, but it's not today, and then wheel it back into what would have been a good garden zone. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be making a portable planter box today, all from upcycled wood. Um, it's probably going to look pretty sketchy because all of the wood that I've banded together is pretty mismatched, but you know, if we can grow some plants out of it, then you know, what have we got to argue about? So, stay tuned for some garden goodness. <laughs> this is my neighbour Debbie. Hi. Hi! She's a bit pale and kind of short, but we don't judge her for it. She's got a villa that she wants to renovate. So she got a bomb, threw it at the house, and blew it up. She told me I could take anything I wanted from the rubble to make some shit out of rising from the ashes. I found a basin and some doors, which is what I'm using today in my project. So this is the initial plan, but I have to make some changes because I was going to buy new wood to make this box. And then I thought, that goes against everything I'm all about. So I scavenged some wood from some friends. So now I have to change this. Clearly these are at the wrong spot. The wheels need to be here, not there. And the wheels that I'm able to buy are on this little metal bracket, which the legs aren't going to be wide enough. So they're going to need to put a plank of wood across there to attach the wheels to. This wood's not going to be able to go horizontal like that. It's going to have to go vertical because I've got little slats like that. And I'm going to have to put a beam across there to secure it. Now, these here are actually going to be old doors. Hi! Hi. So they're going to be actually longer because I think they'll be structurally more sound if I keep them the size that they are. Look, it's just going to be a massive jigsaw puzzle. So, here we go. So this is my side panel, which I'm going to cut down the middle, so that'll be either long side of the box. Then I'll add my two support slats and cut it down the middle. Okay, here's the box sort of happening. Now I was going to do horizontal doors like that, but I think that's going to end up making the box rather enormous. So I'm going to do them vertically like that which I think is a good size box. So I'm going to cut the legs now and attach the legs to either end, then attach the size to the legs and then I'll put support beams on. Oh no. And I'm going to fix that. Really? All right, never a dull moment. Okay, we're going to join the ends to the sides now. Doing one side first, obviously, and then the other side. Uh, I ran out of wood, so I had to uh, break down the other deck, deck chair. So I'm going to put the sides together with the ends and then put a frame around the inside to sturdy it all and then I can put slats on the inside to make a base. But let's add some screws for the moment. Let's see it again in super slow motion. So, box is looking good. I just need to put the base in. This came off the deck chair as the adjust a bit, and I thought this could be good as the handle for the box. I really want to finish it today, but it is 
sun's going down, it's almost beer o'clock, so we'll see how I go with this and how much energy I've got left after, okay? So I'm just about to go and buy plants and seeds and manure and everything to finish the planter, but before I do, I want to um, upcycle my watering can, because it's not a bad watering can, but it does have a direct spout and I want like a nice shower, like watering thing for my new plants and the doggos chewed the end of this uh, but while I was cleaning it I cracked it because it is quite poor so now I need to do a repair job on this look it might not even work but I don't want to toss it out because you know what I'm about so yeah we're going to um, use this and chop it off a bit I found this thing on the beach which is sort of a funnel but it's not so I'm going to open that this is off the front of a fan, so I'm going to glue that on there, I'm going to drill holes in here, and then attach that to there like that. So it'll be kind of cute. Anyway, that's what we're doing now. Feel the hot glue go onto the plastic. Feel the cracks fusing together. The drill cuts off the plastic bits on the plastic thing and the marker draws a circle around the other plastic thing and then proceeds to make the dots. The drill zzz, 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 makes the holes, the dots were there. Feel the blade cut off the tip and release the wider hole. Goes the drill. Yesterday I went to buy plants and seeds to plant my planter box, which I couldn't find anything. Surprise, surprise. Uh, so I had a look on Facebook groups and someone's delivering some to me on Wednesday. Today's Tuesday. Anyway, so um, obviously I didn't get the soil or anything to fill up the box, so I'd wait. But I had a friend over for dinner last night and uh, I was super proud and showing her my new planter box and I was like, hey, look how good it is. I can wheel it and like I can wheel it out into the sun. How good is that? And um, it broke. It's going to be interesting to see how this turns out. One, embarrassing. Two, really happy it wasn't full of plants and dirt already because it would have been everywhere. Three, uh, don't unsubscribe to my channel please. Um, I fucked up and I'm going to fix it. You don't really know. Four, uh, how good does my watering can look? Okay, so I've done all my repairs. I added extra beams inside here. I added support brackets, which are actually shelving brackets on all four corners. I added these little ones here. I made all these screws longer screws. I actually made the baseboard bigger as well so the legs can be further apart to be more stable. Ha! Uh, secured in all of these slats. So now like it's pretty damn solid and I also hung my spade and fork at the back. So now I'm going to put in all of my lining so it can still drain but all the soil doesn't fall out because my plants are arriving today. So all my plants have arrived in my compost so now I'm going to plant up my bin. Wow, that's amazing. Anyway, as I said, my neighbor, Debbie, hey. blew up her art villa. She's given me her marble sink that she doesn't want anymore. So I'm gonna turn this into a bird bath and I'm gonna put it right in there. Now, I was tossing up how to do the base because it's damn heavy. But in the end, I decided to do a metal 
cylinder base. So I sourced a second hand, of course, a beautiful rusty pipe. It had a hole cut in it here. So I can put the bowl on top, put the electric cord through, come out, because I want to have a little bubbly water feature slash bird bath. So it's going to end up looking like that. And I think it's piss elegant. So that's what I'm going to do now. Work on that. Well, that was far easier to remove than I thought it was going to be. Now, I want this down here so the water pump can sit on it and the cord can go down here. This is off the lid of an old blender. I want to cut this off, cut this off and this off and then silicon it in here. So I tried to get a solar power one of these but it kept getting cancelled when I was trying to order online, obviously coming from China. China! A grand lots in China! Something like that. So that's going to go on there like that suction but I'm going to silicon it on and the cord is going to go through here blah 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 and loop underneath it like that so this is me cementing in the metal base and then when it was all set I planted it up with some little mondo grasses and now I'm ready to put in the bowl so I'm threading through the wire through the metal pole putting the basin on, the wood's there so I can level it off properly and silica it in and then we're pretty much ready for the reveal. So a garden slash backyard transformation wouldn't be complete without a bird feeder. So that's what I'm going to work on now. So that's going to be like four things in this video. So it's, you know, got your value out of this one. So this is the design. So I've got lots of off cuts of wood and things. So I've got this turned wood, I'm going to use this like pillars and then just simple base and then it's going to have like a mezzanine and then with a little hole in it so they can sleep and a little stand so they can stand out there and hang out. So it's going to go down here but then the roof, so this will be wood and I'm going to paint it like a nice dark khaki grey green and the roof I'm going to make out of uh, metal. So that's the base and now I'm just cutting the mezzanine the same size. I'm going to do all this and fast forward because it's more interesting to watch. These are the front pillars. I'm just cutting them on the angle so the roof line can sit over the top. And now these are the front and the back roof peaks and one of them I'm going to put the hole in. Pre-drilling holes. These are the back dowels to hold up the mezzanine. This is the uh, entry hole for the birdies, and that's the dowel they're going to stand on, and it looks like that. And then this is actually the side of a computer hard drive that I am going to bend to score the edge a bit, and then bend to make the roof shape. I did pre-sand it because I kind of wanted it to go rusty, and then I couldn't be bothered sanding anymore, so now it's black. That looks pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to sand it and paint it now. That was easier than I thought. I love watching painting in fast forward because if you could paint this quickly, you'd paint way more often. So I'm actually going to play quite a bit of this video because it's kind of like paint porn and I just love it. So just enjoy it. Enjoy the paint porn. Pre-drilling the holes in the metal to attach the roof, I ran out of uh, these screws so then I had to go into my junky screw packet that I just save all random screws to finish it off with. Perfect. Random screws. It was a lot of fun making these products and I definitely feel more connected with nature. My planter box 
has already yielded four cherry tomatoes and there's a mini strawberry on its way. The bird bath is such a nice sound to hear and the birds just love it. And the bird feeder looks lovely in the garden. This is the only bird that's ever come to eat from it. Um, any tips on how to get birds in the garden to eat after you've done this work, let me know. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you want to see me do other bits and pieces. See ya.